All right, it's story time. Today we're going to read a story about an angel, a Christmas angel, and a little boy who hears him singing like he did when he was singing to Jesus in Bethlehem when Jesus was a baby. I hope you enjoy this story. It's a beautiful story. So get ready. Let's, let's read it now together. The book we're going to be reading today is called Alabaster Song. Christmas Through the Eyes of an Angel was written by Max Licato and illustrated by Michael Garland. I was six years old when I met the angel called Alabaster. That was a long time ago. I've grown up now and I have a little boy of my own, but I still remember Alabaster. Here is how I first met him. My parents always put our Christmas tree near my room. I could see it through the doorway. When everyone thought I was asleep, I would lie in bed and stare at the lights and count the shiny balls. I would watch the color glimmer on the icicles. And I know this sounds a little funny, but I would talk to the angel. High atop the tree he sat. He had feathery white wings and a golden halo. I knew he wasn't real. Well, at least I thought he wasn't real. But he looked so friendly with those red chubby cheeks and bright eyes. He looked young. Maybe that's why I talked to him. All my brothers and sisters were older than me. He was the only one in the house my age. So I talked to him. I named him Alabaster. I asked him questions about being an angel. Do angels have to go to bed early? Do your wings keep you warm? Do you ever get tired of sitting on the tree? He never spoke, but that didn't keep me from asking. One night when I was in that in-between place between being asleep and awake, I asked just one more question. What was it like to see Bethlehem? That must have been the right question. Suddenly, Alabaster was standing beside my bed. It was wonderful. His face was round and his eyes were bright. His golden halo and white feathers glowed and sparkled. He talked to me like we were old friends, and when he spoke, he sounded like he was missing his two front teeth. I was a great knight. We went to the shepherds because they were awake. They were so nice. Most of the time they thought we were stars, but that night they knew something special was in the air. He giggled with a giggle that made me giggle too. By now I was sitting on the edge of my bed. What did you do? We just sang. Want to hear it? Yeah, I said. And from that little angel came the most beautiful music. He put back his head and filled our house with a melody only heaven had heard and only heaven could make. He sang and sang like God himself was listening. I put my head on my pillow and listened until I opened my eyes and the sun was up and it was Christmas morning. Get up! It was my dad shaking me. Come and see your presents. I jumped out of bed and ran to the tree. There was everything I'd asked for. Skates, a baseball glove, a train. I was so excited, I forgot all about Alabaster and his song. Soon, all the presents were open and we all sat around talking and laughing and looking at the new stuff. That's when I heard the song again. Alabaster song. The room was full of it. I looked up. Little Alabaster was on the tree with his head back and his mouth open. He was singing, just like he had the night before. I looked around at my family. No one else was looking up at the angel. They were all talking like nothing was happening. Do you hear the singing? I asked my dad. No. Do you, Mom? No, she answered. No one else heard him, but I heard him, as clear as if I were on the tree next to him. His head was turned toward the window, and he was singing to Jesus, just like he had done that first night in Bethlehem. The next Christmas, when I was seven, I heard him again, and the next. He would stop at my bed on Christmas Eve and sing. And from the top of the tree on Christmas morning, he would sing to Jesus. Every year I saw him. Every year I heard him. Then I got older. I forgot to look for him. 
I forgot to listen for him. After a few Christmases, I didn't hear him anymore. I forgot about his song. Till today, today is Christmas. And this morning, as we opened the presents, I noticed that my little boy was looking at the angel on the tree. After a moment, he turned to me and he said, Do you hear the song, Daddy? Well, that's the end of our story for this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you listen carefully and listen for the songs of the angels during this time that we celebrate the birth of Christ. If you listen carefully, I think you'll hear in your heart the songs that we're saying announcing the birth of our Savior. Well, we hope you have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. We hope you're safe and sound. We hope you enjoy yourself and get lots of presents, kids. But always remember the true meaning and the celebration of the birth of Christ this week. We miss you. We love you. And until we see you again, bye-bye.